Hello and welcome to another Card and Cuppa with me, Fiona Witten from Oakville Crafts. Um, welcome to you all. Um, if you've not seen any of these before, it's uh, a live event that I do on a first and third Wednesday of the morning. Um, those of you who um, have been with me for a while, thank you, really appreciate it. Um, so today, those of you who have your kits, um, should have one of them contains all these little goodies. Um, I did put up on the Facebook page this morning that if you're opening this up, be careful because there are lots of little bits in there and um, I'd hate for you to lose things or have to be scrabbling around on the floor trying to find everything. So this is the kit that um, some of you who have, if you ha don't have a kit, and um, would like uh, kits for next month, then just simply visit oakfieldcrafts.com and then click on the tab at the top which says classes and kits and then just follow the links through to the card in a cupper. So um, the kit for this week, uh, your usual envelope, obviously you can't send a card without an envelope. Uh, you have a real red card base. You have a piece of um, Blushing Bride cardstock, which has been cut to layer and mat onto the front of your card. You have a piece of, um, well, this is still Whisper White, but now, because um, I still had a supply of Whisper White, but now um, we have Basic White. So that's your bit to go in the inside. And then there's this little bag full of bits and pieces um, so you need to be careful when you take everything out well, well you could do what I do which is basically I'm just going to tip everything out so um, the one thing that you need to look for is there's a little piece of acetate that has on it two little hearts so you need to find that bit make sure you don't throw it away otherwise you don't have your little embellishments OK, um, they don't normally come like this. They normally come in one sheet. I'll show you. Well, I would show you, except for the fact that I cut the sheet up to for everybody to get two. So it's usually one whole sheet. Um, and what I did is I just cut down the middle so that you had both together so that you were running around trying to find them all. So those are the little resin hearts. You will have a piece of the um, designer series paper, the uh, snail mail. So there's bits of snails and mushrooms on one side. And there's these really cute little hearts on the other. And this has been cut out using the um, snail dies. I'll show you those in a minute. So you've got an envelope. Um, obviously, we're not going to be using that bit. We want this piece. You will have two... And this is where we have to be careful. You'll have two surrounds, so you've got a, a white one and a red one. Now, my one, I managed to catch it and break it, but don't worry, don't panic. Um, when you glue it on, you won't notice. Uh, you you guys should have a piece that isn't broken, or wasn't when, I, when it left here. You've then got the cutouts from each. So we have... A load of real red hearts and a load of white hearts. Uh, and then you should have oh, a myriad of little hearts as well, which are the bits that have um, come out. Uh, if they're not, haven't already come out, then um, you can leave them in or you can take them out. It's entirely up to you. So they, they just pop out. It's really easy. Some of them will also have these little bits in the middle that you don't really need, so you just have to pop that out as well. But I'm going to leave you to do that. So, so you've got the white, the red, and then all the other bits that came in the middle. And then you will also have a little rectangle of um, white, which is stitched around the edge. So that too comes from the, um, the snail dies. Okay, so that's your kit. So as I said, be careful because these 
hearts have a habit of um, yeah getting everywhere, quite frankly. So I'm just going to put these to one side. I'm just oh, and I should should add some of you may have um, your red heart um, outline or your white. Um, doesn't look very red or very white is because I actually on some of them I had to use some wax paper just so that I, it was easier to die cut it all when you're die cutting 30 of these things it's kind of anything to make it a bit easier so you just need to peel that off so not everybody has that but some of you that do just be aware that you will have to peel off the, the bit that um, looks a bit well, it's a bit shiny to start off with Okay, right, so, put that to one side, oops, a daisy, business cards going for a walk, I guess you might like to see what I have done, so this is the first card that I made, so this is the little envelope, this is the little rectangle, stitch little rectangle, and then the little resin hearts. So it's fairly straightforward. I think I've virtually used everything. I didn't use all the um, heart inserts. So I glued this piece, this real red piece, onto the uh, Blushing Bride piece of cardstock. I then carefully glued the white outline inside and you just need to, you just need little dots here and there. You don't need to go completely mad with the glue. Uh, I then decided, okay, I don't didn't want blushing bright hearts all over the place, so I just put back some of the um, the red hearts and I put some white hearts in as well. It's um, I have to admit it does take a little bit of time because not all the hearts are the same size. Um, but once it, once it goes in, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I folded up my envelope. You can see it. And then that stuck on with dimensionals. And then I used a little white heart from the outline. And then I put a little red resin heart on top. Uh, I searched through all my stamp sets to find a sentiment. Um, so love I mean it could be this could you could actually use this it's not necessarily a Valentine's card you could use it for anniversary or whatever it is that you like so I stamped the love sentiment on there that came from I want to say the well said stamp set um, this is uh, one of two so I just use the love from there stamp that onto that um, and then I just um, tucked it under the envelope. Inside, I simply used some of the red hearts and just and glued them along to the bottom. So that was the first card. My second card, I switched it around, so I've made it a landscape rather than portrait. Um, and it basically follows the same principle. I've got a bit of glue on there, I need to get that off. Um, so I glued the, this time, the white surround on and then glued in the real red piece. And again, put in a couple of hearts. Actually, you can't actually see them, they're all inside it. Um, and then the envelope, what I did with that is because when you fold it up, and I have to remember which way it goes because you want the hearts that are at the bottom the right way up. The sides doesn't really matter. So I and it's pretty simple. You just fold the sides in like so, fold that up, and then you've got your little hearts the right way up. Now I didn't really want to see the mushrooms here, so all I did was I just cut out a small square of white glued it on with this open and then turned it over and cut around so that when it's folded you won't actually see the um, the mushroom that bit of mushroom you don't really need that uh, so I did that I um, so glued it all and then put a heart onto that little white piece and so that's got a dimensional underneath I put a um, resin heart on 
put stuck all that to the card. Um, I found a stamp from Itty Bitty Greetings, which says, uh, well, obviously it says you're engaged because you can read it there. Um, so, so I used this stamp set. This is the Itty Bitty Greetings. So I use that you're engaged. But you, you, there's all sorts of things on on the itty bitty greetings. Again, that's it's two stamp set, two stamps um, boxes in in one. So there's all sorts like scent with love, all sorts of things that you could use. Uh, it's really just a case of finding a sentiment that you like that you want to stamp onto your card, or if you don't like stamping the front, obviously then you can choose what you want to put on the inside. So I simply stamped uh, "You're engaged" in uh, the real red, and put the little red resin heart on that and then again inside I just simply glued on a heart from the pack that you've got you're gonna have lots of hearts left so you can you can kind of go to town you can make a whole, another card with just just the hearts on um, so that's that second card so um, turning now to what am I going to do actually first off I just thought I'd share with you so these are the Be Mine stitched framelit dies so I used this die here so it cuts it all out in one go uh, and then as I said you just need to pop out the hearts from the middle so you'll find this in the um, the annual cat the main catalogue and it has in total 16 um, different dies, so it has all sorts of hearts and things, but I just wanted to concentrate on, so I'm gonna show you the whole thing. Um, so that's that's all 16. It's a nice set. And I like the fact there's some nesting hearts here as well that you can use. Um, so I used just that little piece. The snail dies, yeah, I, I guess you can't, you wouldn't normally assume snails with valentines. Um, so these are two that I used. So this is a little envelope that cuts out in one piece. And that little bit in the middle there is the, the little piece of white. Um, you, ordinarily, you can stick it on the front of the envelope and um, write a little message there, stamp a little message, but I decided to um, have mine looking as if they were peeking out of the envelopes, or just tucked under. And there's also hearts in here as well that you, you could use if you wanted to. So, um, yeah, and a, a, stamp, a stamp set and die set that you wouldn't necessarily um, assume you could use for Valentine's or Love or Anniversaries or what, but actually it's amazing just how versatile it is. So that's that. So I'm now going to bring in my kit. I'm not going to bother with the envelope. So I'm just going to bring in all these bits. And I kind of need to figure out what I'm going to do. I need that little piece of white. Uh, I'm going to leave those in there for the time being, otherwise they are going to get everywhere. Um, right. So the $64 million question is, do I want to start with white or do I want to start with red? Now you'll find that the piece of white, the piece of red should fit neatly across the middle. There's a little bit of tweaking you may have to do to make sure that the edges are um, straight. So it's like that. Um, and then we have the red. And I think I'm actually going to use the red. And I'm um, And what I'm actually going to do, because you, as I said before, you know me, I like to kind of like cut things up, um, go a little bit different. So I'm just going to get to my ruler out because I can't remember. And I'm fairly certain that this is five centimeters, or four centimeters, five centimeters. It's four centimeters wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut a piece that is five centimetres wide, she says, and she can't find her trimmer. So why have I, have, I have had all these things planned? And, uh, hang on, I'll use this one instead. This will work. A baby one. A baby one, yes. My daughter's just come in. 
So I'm going to cut it at five instead. So that's that. This was a, a one of the um, joining gifts last year in celebration. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put that on. So there will be um, a border top and bottom. And I could, let's see, so I know that's 10, that was four, so I need it to be 11. Hmm. This is 14.4, so I need to take 3.4 off. Just make sure it's kind of like that. I'm not quite sure what my daughter's doing here. She's looking for a label. Can't help you there. I'm not quite sure where they've disappeared. So I'm going to glue this onto here. Uh, don't go too mad with your glue. Oops, she says. Um, and it all comes gushing out. Do you need one now? Good old mum, I have all sorts of things tucked away in here. Let's see now, I'm going to put that coming over there. I need to make sure that this piece here does meet. And I'm not too worried about getting the glue in the middle, simply because I'm going to be gluing that outline inside there. So if there ends up being glue there, actually it's quite a good thing, other than the fact if it's right in the middle. That's pretty much, I was going to say straight, but I definitely need some glasses. Again, new glasses, because last time I thought that the card wasn't straight, and actually when I measured it, it was like a millimetre out, which, let's face it, at the scheme of things, is, is nothing. So, just double check that this fits in, because if not, you might need to move things around slightly. Yep, that will be fine. Now, for some reason, my middle didn't actually come out properly. I just need to poke out these ones. Excuse me a minute. Jenny? Yeah. Long, those four drawers over there, try those. Especially the top right. Sorry about that. Family, you can always guarantee. But anyway, so I'm going to poke those bits out and I'll see if I can poke these out. Um, yours definitely, I know, will come out because I triple cut them, some of them, just to make sure. Um, anyway, I'm, just, I'm not too worried about that piece because it's going to get hidden anyway. So, and actually, I can also use it as a for putting the glue on. So you just want to just find little spots to put a dot of glue to do this you don't need to try and get them all over do it if this wasn't live I'd actually stop and go and help her but quite frankly <laughs> So I'm going to tuck this inside that. Said so you need to just kind of manipulate it a bit to go in. It's like it came out. Well, this obviously the white didn't come outside of out of the red, but but the red bits did, and they're identical. So they're not one on the end of that one. I despair. Oh. Right, so we've got that and that. 
to that bit. Um, actually, that piece that I've cut off will fit quite neatly onto here. So I'm going to have a I'm going to have a pink inside this time round. Uh, let's see, will it fit that way? No. So it's very. You don't have to be um, neat as such. You can just glue it on and then trim. I did try um, simply drawing around it, but it didn't actually look that nice. I don't know why. So I'm just going to quickly cut around this. Like so. Right, and then you don't actually need it to go over the creases here, otherwise you won't actually be able to um, fold it. Okay, so you've got you so you've got a piece of um, pink like that. So you can't see it from that side, but you're not going to see it anyway because we're simply going to fold this up like that. So I'm just going to quickly put some glue on these. Remember to fold in your sides first when you're doing this and then fold up the bottom like that. So that's your little envelope. And then you could, if you wanted to, stick that on there. Or you can decorate it and put a heart on it or um, whatever you want to do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little white heart on here. Like that. I'm going to glue that on. Sometimes it's easier just to use a pair of tweezers. I'm going to put that on there, like that. So that's that bit finished. I don't need the inside for a moment. I think we're going to put some red on here. As I said, it's just a question of finding some and putting them in. I think I've obviously got my eye in because so far that's two that are the right ones. Maybe I'll put a couple of white ones as well because the ones in the middle are going to get hidden. Um, normally I would say um, to glue them, but whoops, so that one definitely will need a bit of glue. My internet's behaving itself today because I think you're all still with me. Yay! Which is good. Uh, should I put another one in? Let's see. Find a tiny one. I think I'll put another little red one in down this end. Oops. Put a red one in. Now I've glued this to the card front, this piece of... Um, the blushing bride you could actually just use dimensionals oops, on it Should I glue it? no I haven't glued it god dear so I'm, I am going to use some dimensionals to put it on the card front she says oh there they are I had everything well planned today everything was to hand so I've been going through my dimensionals like nobody's business recently. So I'm down to using the edges at the moment. But waste not, want, want not. I'm going to do that. This is where I get all the bits of the backing, so the dimensionals in with all the hearts. And then I have to go and get them all out. But hey ho. 
So that's that. So I'm going to stick that on the card like there, like that. It doesn't quite look straight. There we go. That's that. Now I can, uh, I think I'm going to put that on with dimensionals as well. Go to town. I just need to snip these. I'll put that on. Like so. You see, as I said, hide the um, all the white ones there. There, mm. and when you look at it now, you can decide whether or not you want to add a couple more um, of the the hearts. But I'm actually quite happy with that now. Uh, now, the question is, do I want to stamp on this, or do I want to stamp on the cart? And I think I'm going to stamp on this. So I'll just put that card to one side for the moment and see, I think I might use that love again. I was going to say be careful which way around you put it but you haven't glued it on obviously if you glue it on first and then stamp it that's kind of a bit of a it could end up with a problem if it's upside down but at the moment it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to stamp this if it had been upside down I could just obviously just turn it bring this back and then decide where I'm going to I'm going to put it on that corner I think and I'm just going to glue it on. I decided that doing these card and a cup is actually quite therapeutic, <laughs> mainly because it, um, I, I spend a lot of time talking to myself, and because uh, I can't see you, uh, and you can't really see me. Obviously, you can see my hands and what I'm doing, so it does feel like I am talking to myself. <laughs> Which is uh, quite funny. That's that. So that's that on. Right, I have those two little enamel hearts which I left in the bag that I can use. Um, let's see, where are they? I think. Do I want to put that one on there? Yeah, I'm going to put the red one on that here. Obviously, if you don't want to use the resin hearts, then you can add the um, the ones that have come out of the cardstock and then I'm going to put this one central on that one just to add a little bit more of an embellishment so that's my card front so I'm happy with that and then I just need to do the inside and as I said we have so many hearts left that you can go to town with this you can um, go sideways you can alternate between red and white I'm just going to keep it simple because I'm kind of I, I'm, I'm aware of the time whoops so I'm just going to stick one heart on there So as I said before, um, really it's up to you what sentiment you want to use. I mean, you could use this as a hello baby and send lots of love to the new baby. Um, obviously, being pink on the back, on the bottom, it'll be a girl. Um, engagements, weddings, anniversaries. So don't panic if you think that this can only be a. Um, a Valentine's card book because you can use it for whatever you want it to be for and then obviously if um, you've got your 
envelope. So we could put, if you if it is a, a Valentine's, then you can stick some hearts on the back. Like that. Or you can stick one on the front or you can stick one on the front and the back. And you don't need to go to town with the glue. There we go. So, let's move this out of the way. Put the lid on the glue so it doesn't dry up. Oil guard on the scissors so I don't end up stabbing myself, which I just did. Move those out of the way. Oops. So we have an envelope and we have one, two, we have three cards. So I hope you've enjoyed those. Before you go, I just wanted to quickly share two things with you. First off, um, I'm doing a buy one get one free at the moment so if you haven't didn't see it in the newsletter then if you go on to Oakville Crafts I've set up a tab on there which takes you to my online page with my retired stamp sets and you can just click on the ones you like and um, find out more information there and also this month I'm starting a um, Fun and Cute Card Kit Club. It's a it's a monthly club. You you can dip in and out of it. So this month it's featuring the um, Kangaroo and Company stamp set, and you get um, supplies to make six cards. So these are the cards. So you get all the supplies, so you get the cardstock, you get the um, ribbon, um, this one's a fancy fold. So you get everything to make two, two of each of the cards and then you can just use your own stamps to, um, to decorate or if you want to add on the Kangaroo and Company stamp set or the, um, the bundle, you can do so, the, the choice is yours. So this is available now to the 14th of the month and then um, after that I'll be getting all the kits together and they'll be sent out uh, with instructions and there will be a Facebook group that you can join for just those who are doing the Kangaroo and Company and then I'll do that each month so there'll be written instructions but there'll be no Zoom so this is a bit different from the, um, the Zoom classes that I do um, just thought because I know there's some people that don't like to use Zoom so that's one way of um, if you like to craft and you don't have that many supplies but would like to make something like this, then um, again, please visit uh, oakfieldcrafts.com and click on the classes and all the details will be on there. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I will get all this put up on the Facebook page uh, along with all the photos of the cards. I'm aware that I still need to get the ones up from last week. Um, I've had one of those weeks at the moment um, so I hope you bear with me because it's going to go on for a little while longer um, but I will play catch up as quickly as I can and that's it for now I'll see you next Wednesday for um, a technique of some sorts uh, you can play along and I'll post the list of supplies on Tuesday sometime anyway but uh, that's it for now take care and look after yourselves bye